Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Once again, Scorpio Cesar here to bring you the battle pack for the Jax Pacific Godzilla King of the Monsters line of Godzilla and Rodan. So first off, gotta give credit where credit is due. Big shout out to my boy Chucky's Geek Spot who helped track these down for me. He is a fellow collector and custom effect piece creator. So if you're in the need for a katana horn for destroyer, some vicious blood effects, beam effects, custom flame effects, you name it, Chuck's got you covered. So follow him on Instagram and hit him up. Taking a nice look at the packaging here, you get a nice cloudy image in the background with the window packaging showing off Godzilla with his blue spines and of course Rodan as well. And a very nice looking backdrop there, a nice little card. I wonder if you can fold that out or if that's the size it comes with. If that's the case, then that's kind of disappointing. I mean, you're not really going to be able to do much with that. but. It's a toy! Let's take a look at the back of the box. And on the back you get a nice description of Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, whatever, synopsis of the movie, you kind of get where they're going for. Promotional images here of Godzilla and Rodan from this set. And looks all great, right? Let's take a look to see what's inside. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm trying to use my usual review format that I would for other figures such as Monster Arts, NECA releases, or even the SH Figure Arts line, and for some reason, I just can't do it. She's not working with me today, so I'm gonna do it a little more casual for these guys because you know what? They're fun little toys, so let's get into it. So Godzilla's head can actually rotate around the neck. So can the arm can move up and down. You can actually try to get it to go 360, but just be careful with the sculpt. It does kind of hinder it. And the legs actually move up that much and move back that much. So you could get a lot of good stomp in action if you want to get Godzilla running through the field like like he does in the trailer. That's all good and dandy. And for Godzilla's tail, you can get it to rotate at the base once and at the mid part of the tail again here. That's pretty much it, basic little figure of Godzilla with his blue spines glowing. So let's take a look at Rodan real quickly and his articulation. Yeah, the guy can get his neck to move left and right, which is always nice. You could probably get a good 360 out of that. Yep, he can rotate that fully. And that's all good and dandy. You can get his feet to actually move up that much, so make it look like he's about to claw somebody's eyes out if you want, or just have him... Um, kick back that much so that it looks like he's just gliding through the sky. There's a basic hinge here so that you can get the wings to move forward that much. So you get them to look silly like that. Or you could get the wings to go back that much. So yeah, don't put too much stress on those though. You don't want to break them. So in terms of paint details and sculpt, you gotta keep in mind these are very small figures. No bigger than maybe four inches high for Godzilla at least. And a decent wingspan for Rodan. But given the circumstances here, you'd expect Jack Pacific to just kind of phone it in with these releases. But they actually did an admirable job with the sculpt, paint, and details. So starting off with Godzilla, as you can see his eyes, they're painted blue to match the blue spines. That's always cool. Uh, his teeth are painted with a little white paint, but it's a bit sloppy and it's to be expected with the figure this size. Uh, the inner mouth's not painted at all. On the rest of the body, however, the towards the chest and abdominal area, you can see what they used. It looks like a gray dry brushing technique, and it definitely helps highlight the details on the glossy black body of Godzilla, which is a nice touch. The claws aren't painted, but that's not a big deal either. And the sky blue paint used on the dorsal fins is pretty nicely applied, although in some areas it does look a bit sloppy on mine uh, compared to the other side, especially around this area, but you know, your mileage will vary. And uh, there's a nice little gradient towards the inner spines around the base where it's just kind of Godzilla gray. And then it reaches a sky blue towards the ends of those dorsal fins. But on this side, it's kind of missing. Anyways, uh, like I said, the paint is a little sloppy there on the back and it does end around the base of the tail where it's just 
plain old black but you know what not a big deal they get the look of the atomic blast godzilla and it looks pretty darn cool here cool moving on to rodan he's a bit more of a simpler style they really didn't use too much paint here but the ones they did his eyes are painted with little yellow spots no detail really painted on the beak or on the claws of the feet However, the whole figure is used with a nice kind of darker red color, almost blood red. And they decided to use what looks to be like a brown dry brush technique on this guy. And it really does make the detail pop on the sculpt of this figure. And this guy really does look pretty nice upon a closer inspection. Uh, yeah, a lot of nice details on the folds of the wings. In terms of accessories, well, all you get is this little cardboard cutout of... Uh, some nice European, I guess, looking country. I don't know. And a cool looking volcano exploding in the background. Uh, that's all you get. It comes with this little stand. And if you want to, I guess, pose them together with it in the background, I, I, you know, it's small, too small. I don't like it, but I don't know. So in terms of size comparisons, I decided to bust out the Spitfire 2014 Godzilla and SH Monstars Fire Rodan in this case. And as you can see, size wise, they're very small, obviously. You know, these are small figures. And they, they get the job done. They, like I said, they bring me back to the Trend Masters days. And here we have them compared to the King Ghidorah Godzilla battle set. And as you can see, King Ghidorah absolutely dwarfs Rodan in terms of size, as he should. Godzilla, however, same sculpt, different paint scheme. Overall, I think they scale up pretty well with each other. And, uh, you know, King Ghidorah doesn't want to stand on his hind legs, but we'll get to that review. So overall, these little guys just tickle my nostalgia bone, and I would definitely recommend them for younger siblings or younger family members that you may have, and help them understand the power and awesomeness of the King of the Monsters by getting them these cool Godzilla toys that'll help get them hyped for the movie. And these aren't gonna break the bank either. They're only around $10 at Walmart, so you could do a lot worse. As a collector of the NECA and SH Monster Arts line, of course they leave me wanting more, but even I know that these guys aren't marketed for overgrown baboons like me. However, that doesn't mean I'm not going to have some fun with them. So thanks everybody for watching this review and I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, maybe subscribe, share the video with your friends and hit that like button. I really do appreciate it and check out some other content you might enjoy from my channel towards the end card of this video. As always everyone, connect everything and collect everything. Ciao.